well. So if you are a fan of vintage, this is the Vintage Power Hour, where I'll be showcasing 20 of my favorite pieces at Luxury Promise. Now, the benefits of watching this live show is that during when you're watching, all your customs and duties are um, included during the live show. And how it works is it's very much an interactive show. As I am presenting the product, I'll be briefly talking about the history, the condition, the ways of styling, and then the price will be revealed and it will be revealed in a picture icon. We will post three at a time and those as soon as the picture icon appears you just need to tap on those icon on your device or on your laptop or whatever technology you are watching us on this will take you directly to the website where you can see further images you can read further information and most importantly you can shop straight away you can add to cart we take all major forms of credit and debit cards as well as paypal and we offer something called split it split it is a very much an interest free way of spreading those luxury payments over three six and nine and twelve months and the only caveat is it's only available on credit cards it is available uh, globally to every anybody in the world who has a credit card as long as you have the full amount on your card so hello b and i need to say please welcome rachel who's moderating Hi. say good morning she is the techie person who is writing all the information and making sure this show goes smoothly <laughs> she's a very important lady so let's get started so like i said this is very much a vintage show and I'll be showing some um, recapping on some existing vintage pieces as well as presenting some new ones as well. So let's start with something fun and easy. Let's do the a very, you know, a very durable, very handy and very useful, the Sportline um, Chanel bag. The reason why it's called a Sportline is because of the nylon exterior and it has this nylon um, uh, print with the uh, uh, CC logo. This is almost like a beigey taupe colorway. Um, in the mid 2000s, uh, Chanel did a whole range of the Sportline look and it covered things like little totes, little pouches, little tennis rackets. So it's very, very much an easygoing, sporty look. Things that you can take to the gym. So we have this lovely little um, sort of cover style a shoulder tote it's a nice little pm size it's ideally to be worn over the shoulder and it's probably let me just give get the measurements it is about oops just twisted it about 11 inches across so it's a good little compact size great for everyday wear uh, hello Tam, nice to see you and hear from you. Um, this one is in, generally in good condition and um, it has just light uh, wear to the corners of the bag. It has studded gold toned feet. Uh, it's a nylon exterior so it's very durable, almost like water repellent. Um, it is fully lined and it comes with these uh, calf leather almost like a taupey color leather contrasting straps. Inside it's nice and clean with two interior pockets and it comes with um, a serial sticker. So it's an eight series. So this I believe is 2003, 2004, off the top of my head. Uh, so yeah, yes, it comes with a serial sticker only. The interior is nice and clean and what it can fit i think it could fit can i just grab your laptop cover yeah just to show you the oh, it's breaking. so we have a laptop cover here this is probably a 13 inch one uh yeah, 13 <laughs> inch one. yeah yeah so it can just about fit a 13 inch macbook so you know if you are looking for a little work bag um that it, it could definitely fit a little laptop but, but for sure, it can hold all your daily essentials, such as your phone, your makeup bag, your keys. Um, even are there, if there are any expectant mothers, this would be a great mummy bag, uh, a great uh, nappy bag, because it has a nylon interior, uh, a nylon exterior. It's very durable, waterproof, washable. So you can definitely you know, put a changing mat, bottles, 
powder, formula, whatever you need. And it has this very handy, sturdy shoulder strap as well. So the price of this bag is just an incredible price of only 350 pounds or 430 US dollars. I think this is a really good price. If you are very first time wanting to buy a Chanel bag, um, this could be a very good starter collection for your Chanel obsession. <laughs> so you can, you know, you can buy a Chanel bag for less than 400 pounds. So let me just show you the, corn, uh, the shoulder straps. Nowhere to the shoulder straps. The main body is nice and clean and the sides are nice and clean. Uh, just to be transparent, there is one corner wear here and there's some corner scuffing here. But the main base is nice and clean and it features gold tone feet as well. So the price of this, again, is a recap, is £350, which is $430. US dollars. Uh, all you need to do is just tap on that icon. Remember, all your duties and customs are also covered during this live show and it's available to purchase. All you need to do is just tap there. So moving on to other bags, let's do this MN Petitier bag. We have a lovely um, LV bag here, and this is the Coutouchier um, MM size. So it comes in three sizes, the PM, MM and GM, and this is the MM size. It's a satchel style vintage Louis bag with the fachette leather. The fachette leather actually is incredibly nice and clean, and the patina is nice and even. It features adjustable straps, and it has a buckle closure. And it's designed to be worn as a crossbody style bag, like this. Um, it's crafted from that iconic, durable monogram canvas. And the canvas is in excellent condition, no wear. There is a coating to it, so it makes it almost scratch resistant, water resistant. And also, importantly, uh, Louis Vuitton create this created canvas, a uh, coated canvas, it's almost resistant to like sunshine rays, so it wouldn't like discolour in the sun if you left it out in the sun. Uh, has vachette leather bottom, and the vachette leather is actually natural cowhide leather, so it's undyed, it's the natural colour. And over time, due to the way you use it, or maybe the way you store it, it creates this honey patina light brown look, which uh, vintage Louis Vuitton collectors love. Um, and this one generally is in good, clean condition, and it has a nice and even color. The really interesting thing about Vachette leather, um, the way it patinas, it depends on the user. So no two bags are ever the same. So no two bag ever patina the same way, which makes each bag, a, each Louis Vuitton bag, vintage, unique. Has a nice clean interior. It has two double pockets, so two sections to store your stuff. It is signed and stamped uh, Louis Vuitton. And most importantly, it does not feel sticky inside. You know, sometimes the older model, depending on if it was stored in damp conditions, it creates that sticky interior. This one's actually really nice and clean. So like I said, it has a buckle uh, enclosure. And in terms of what it can fit, the most important thing we wanna know if it fits an iPhone 13. So I've got, this is the same spec as an iPhone 13, and you can pop that in and it fits perfectly fine. In terms of size, let me just quickly give you the measurements. It is roughly eight inches across and seven inches down. And it width wise, it is three inches deep. And like I said, it has adjustable strap. So lots of, um, depending on your height, this can really adjust accordingly to the, the drop and height of your, of your, of your um, scale of your body. So the price of this is, the picture's just popped up. Oh, so many comments, didn't see. <laughs> it is 395 pounds, which is 485 US dollars. That's an incredible price. 
this is 395 pounds or 485 us dollars if you want to purchase this item all you need to do is just tap on that icon just there is this not in stock shall i agent? oh yes please yes um so unless is it just sold i think i just saw something pop up can you just check oh my god <laughs> Ah, yes, yeah, just sold. Monica's just bought it. That was, that was super quick, Monica. You almost fooled us because we didn't think we put it in stock. That was so quick. So, Monica may know a tip that you guys don't know. Is that uh, below there is a handbag icon. While I'm talking, we have to release the product live. So, if you want to jump the queue, please check out the handbag icon to see what's still available and what we have featured so far. So that is a tip from us. Congratulations, Monica. Uh, is this your first Louis? Um, let me know, are you a Louis fan? And um, tell us how you're gonna wear this. Are you gonna wear, be wearing this on holiday? Because this is how I would wear it. I think this is a really good holiday bag because it's deep enough to carry everything. I think it even is big enough to carry a little, like a 100 ml water bottle as well. So very, very practical. Oh yes, if we get them back in stock. <laughs> Congratulations. Right now, talking about also let me just uh, what do you guys want to see some next? Do you want to see some jewellery or another handbag? Let us know. Hello Cam. Cam has incredible style. I do follow her on Instagram. I uh, love her mix of styles and she's all the way from New Zealand, which is Right. Jewellery. Okay, let's do some jewellery. Uh, let's do... Uh, let's ease into it. Actually, let's do something nice. Um, I haven't actually act tagged this. It's AWC116. Yes. Thank you. So... So here, sometimes in these styling, in these morning shows, we uh, give you styling advice as well. And um, we have this little Fendi vintage, probably early 2000, and it's actually three little Fendi charms. Comes with a little pouch. And the Fendi charms can be used in multiple of ways. Uh, it could be attached to another existing necklace, or it could be attached to a handbag, or earring. And these are metal base with a gray enamel with the FF logo. And we also have one in the black logo as well. So, and there's one in gold, there's three charms. So it will be sold as a set of three and it comes with a little Fendi pouch as well. So out of the three, two have little lobster clasps. And that's the why, reason why I wore my thin chain today is you can actually attach it to an existing necklace. So you can like customize. I've put a little bit of Fendi with my uh, YSL. Let me put the other one on again as well. So a really, really fun way of like, just wait, Vicky, wait till you see the price of these. These are incredibly priced. Um, so that is, um, yes, yeah, so I've put two on there. So it's just a really, really fun way of customizing your existing necklace. Everyone has a plain gold chain. You can just attach them on. You can put them on a handbag. You can put them on, on an earring. My client said that um, when she when the pro when she bought these, she actually bought them to put on earrings, which I thought was really <coughs> fun. Uh, this one doesn't have a lobster clasp, so all you need to do is thread through a thin chain, and then you can have a set of three. In terms of condition, these are all in very good condition. Um, no enamel wear, no chipping. And then this one has just light scratches on the gold tone pendant. Um, it features FF, it says Fendi, made in Italy. And they're absolutely fun little items. And I'm sure the price will be coming up shortly. And it comes with a pouch. So these three little Fendi charms are only 65 pounds, which is nothing, 60, 65 pounds. You've got three little Fendi charms, comes with a pouch, which is roughly $80. And I think it is uh, the great way to customize and, <laughs> yes, Sophie, it's literally free. <laughs> I thought in the morning, I'll try and do something that is easy on the coffee when you're watching us, or just if you're going to bed, be like, oh, that's, that's nice. 
Yes, I agree. It makes a great gift. So if you want to purchase these items, all you need to do is just tap on that icon just there. I'm going to leave these on while I will um, move on to the next uh, vintage jewellery. We have this one, which is AWL228. Uh, we have another vintage piece of jewellery. Actually, not vintage, vintage, but at, it's uh, it's from 2007. So it's a very modern, it's a later piece from 2007. Let me just untangle that. Give me one second. Uh, and it uh, features a little camellia flower. Sorry, just got a little bit tangled, that's it. Oh, that's so oh that is so sweet i've just figured it out so it is a thin champagne gold chain the same thickness as this uh chain that i'm wearing and it has a lobster class it is signed chanel and it's from 2007 collection what is really cute about this necklace it has two little charms it features a camellia flower with little rhinestones in light brown and an espresso brown and it has a cc charm there so let me just flip the screen to see so you see the condition really really sweet champagne gold the gold is generally in good condition with no tarnish thank you and it has the um little back it's almost like kind of reminds me of van cleef mm -hmm. sweet alhambra but this is camellia uh, it has little rhinestones in the centers i like the way it's not symmetrical it's kind of dotted around and it has uh, two petals so you, the the first petal is light a light brown and the back petal is almost like an espresso um uh dark brown and i just love this little tiny cc charm that has just sort of hovers behind i think it's really really a sweet piece it is such a beautiful piece uh it comes with we'll just give you a complimentary box uh, and we'll give you a complimentary um luxury promise dust bag in terms of as a necklace there we go it this is how it looks on me it's a sort of piece that um, I will measure it, Cam, so don't worry. Um, so it's really elegant. So you can wear it, I think it's a really good layering piece. So you can wear it on its own or singular like this. Um, and I think the way it's set, it just sits high, um, just perfectly on my ne neckline. And I love the two length charms, which I think makes it a little, very, very, um, very uh, special. And I'll just quickly measure it. Has the charms just sold? So. Ah, Vicky, did you buy it for your daughter? Let me know. That actually is a really good gift without breaking the bank as well. <laughs> so in terms of neck length, it is uh, roughly, uh, top to tail, is roughly nine inches, nine inches from neck drop. So, so it sits, uh, how it was, it just sat there. Yeah, I think we're all enamoured by this necklace. So a very, very sweet piece. So this little pendant is only £495, which is 608 US dollars. It includes all your customs and duties. Let me just show all our friends on Instagram. Hello, Instagram. If you are watching this and you want to purchase this or you want to join our live show, please refer to the comment just below where you can shop dynamically and you can ask me directly questions. So we well, have just featured this item. This is a Chanel 2007 Camellia Pendant in Champagne Gold, uh, signed Chanel from 2007 collection. And all you need to do is just tap on that icon. Thank you. So moving on. Let's do these earrings. These are beautiful. I've uh, just recently featured them on our Instagram page. These, I believe, are Givenchy. Let me just double check. Yes, it is Givenchy. These are really beautiful. A vintage 1980s Givenchy, um, almost cabochon style, lapis lazuli, um, uh, hoop earrings. And hoop earrings never date. Never, never date. I, I, it's my go-to. Like If I don't know what to wear, if I'm wearing a really boring outfit, 
go for a hoop earring. It really does elevate the whole look. Do you have think? this view for this one? This one? Uh, this one, yes, yes sure. Okay. I think it's AEL 1023. Thank you. AEL, is that the one? Yes, yes. Home. So these are from the 1980s and the gold is incredible. It would be plated in gold. And looking at the colour of this, this would be plated in 24 karat gold. I love the fact it looks um, quite renaissance um, or it looks like an antiquity. Uh, so sort of the ancient times, I think it's absolutely stunning. In terms of um, style, let me just put them on. And condition, the condition is incredible with no tarnish, no chipping. And the lapis lazuli stones are set uh, very strong and won't be falling out the, the, you know they, they are set very well and inside you can just about see where when we are authenticating checking for marks you can see the four gg logos which make the iconic Givenchy um, sign to me it almost looks like an oriental um, calligraphy stamp that's what it reminds me of and um, and sometimes it says Paris and New York this one I can't see without glasses, but definitely it says Shivanshi uh, there. So this is also the original class as well. So in terms of this Chanel necklace. Oh, congratulations! Who bought the necklace? That was that was you know I would have bought that. <laughs> <laughs> no brainer. Congratulations, do let's like Cam. Did you end up buying it? I hope you did. Um, love Cam style. So these um, love the, 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 the style of these earrings, really beautiful statement size. They actually feel very comfortable on. Um, you could even want to get comfort um, pads, which you, they're in like a pack of 20 and they're normally a couple of pounds off Amazon. Um, oh, Susanna bought them, hi. Hello, to, hello, Sabrina in Dubai, who never sleeps. <laughs> How are you doing, Sabrina? Uh, let everyone know when is your next show in Dubai. I'm sure they will be wanting to catch up with you. Ah, so these earrings are incredible condition, and I actually think that they are very something very um, Cleopatra about these uh, earrings. What do you think? Yeah. Very Queen or very Elizabeth Taylor. Um, so yes. And they feel strong and secure when worn. And these beautiful earrings are only 245 pounds, which is 301 US dollars. They're just modeled there. If you want to purchase these one of a kind vintage piece, or you need to just ch tap on that icon. And remember all your customs and duties are covered during this live show. Let me just show the condition one more time. They do not come with a Givenchy box. However, we'll provide you with a complimentary, um, um, I always say Louis Vuitton, luxury promise dust bag. So hello friends on Instagram. If you want to purchase this item, head over to luxury promise right now. It's pinned in the comments where you can shop in live time. Now, shall we do a Chanel CC turnstile lock? Should we go for it? Yes. So I get lots of comments on my one and every show, always someone else, do you have one or is that for sale? And today, guys, I do have one in stock. This is, it's ADL 2014, brilliant. And what's even better, it's actually better condition than the one I've, I've got. I've had, this is, I think was my second or third vintage Chanel piece that I own when I started collecting. So this is my version, this is the scale, and this is exactly, is it exactly the same? Can't see. Ah, this one, this one's slightly bigger. So, which is even better. And it also comes with its original box as well. So we, a couple of shows ago, we just discovered anything that is Chanel with a white box comes from, um, it's only available at 31 Rue Cambon Chanel directly, but anything black box was available globally. I did not know that at the time, so I thought that was quite, yeah, I thought that was very interesting. 
So it comes with the box in wonderful condition. It's actually better than the one I'm wearing. I've had mine for several years now. And it is signed at the back. It is from the 96 collection, 1996. A uh, beautiful gold tone, 24, original 24 karat gold gilding. And of course, it is, if you're going to collect Chanel, one of the things that you should be collecting is the CC logo. Uh, CC logo uh, is iconic, it's recognizable, it's what makes Chanel, Chanel. And, um, and these turnstile locks have in, grown incredibly in value, especially in the last two years I've seen. Um, this is fabulous. So the CC uh, features two CC um, intertwined and um, you would think most people uh, call this, uh, well refer this as Coco Chanel, um, her, to her, her, logo, her name. And however, uh, some theorists have said it also could refer to Capel, Coco and Capel. Capel was of course uh, Coco Chanel's uh, first true love, uh, who tragically died in a car crash, I think, in 1919, and um, who really actually um, quite enlightened for a man, you know, early 20th century, actually uh, funded her millinery and fashion business, really encouraged her to go into business, saw that she had talent, and um, his life was cut short very, very quickly. So you could say that's Coco and Capel intertwined Forever, which is quite a romantic story. Um, the turnstile lock is also known as the Coco Mademoiselle lock as well. Mademoiselle lock because Coco Chanel never married. So, yes, Linda, all the uh, duties and customs also include Sweden. So everything is landed for you. The only thing you have to pay is shipping. So it's £10 for UK, £15 for Europe, and £35 for the rest of the world. And if you buy multiple things during our live show, we will combine the shipment in one and we will refund to you accordingly and only charge you one flat rate. Also, tan batting, what's the difference between gold gilding and gold plating? Is that it, it's a, no, gold gilding and gold plating is exactly the same, actually. It's just another way of mentioning it. And I think maybe this is sold. It's sold. It I has sold. It. <laughs> so who has bought it? I told you um, before we could pin the price, it was sold. So thank you, uh, whoever just bought it. Um, like I said, if you want to beat the pinning, you need to keep an eye on the handbag icon just below. Yes. Yes, it has. <laughs> So, congratulations. I don't know why I'm still holding it up. I was like, oh, oh it's sold. <laughs> so, right. So, do you guys like more Chanel stories? Because I have something coming up next. Before I do, I'm going to make sure this book is available. Yeah. So, we have next is this one. It's one of my actually favorite pieces. Um, so the uh, CC turnstile lock was a good example of what uh, people should be, um, if you love Chanel and you love costume jewellery, uh, CC turnstile lock is a really, really good investment because those ones just fly out, as you can see uh, earlier, very, very quickly. So those who start going to CC turnstile lock, the next level of collecting is grippoir. So we have this beautiful grippoir cuff. Now, grippoir... Um, has a very long history and very much a history, very much intertwined with the house of Chanel. Now, Chanel personally loved jewellery. She loved mixing costume with real fine jewellery and um, her style was very much, was piled on. Her outfits were actually quite simple. If you look at study old pictures of Coco Chanel, it, she not, normally just wore a two-piece suit, but she would adorn herself with lots and lots of jewellery. So this is an example of her typical style just there. It was quoted that she had said, a woman should, not, should mix fake and real jewellery, she once said. The point of jewellery isn't to make one look rich, but to adorn her. And that is not the same thing, which I thought was a very interesting point of, uh, of, of 
wearing costume, jewellery and fine jewellery. Now, during the, her love affair uh, with the Duke of Westminster in the 1930s, um, her love of jewellery was so that the Duke of Westminster would gift her a jewel every week. Which I think Good. Coco Chanel was Elizabeth Taylor of her time. <laughs> he was Richard Burton and she was Elizabeth Taylor. So <laughs> not only that, I think he also gift her a jewel and a bouquet of camellia flowers every week as well. Now, the most iconic cuff that Chanel personally wore was the uh, cuff designed by um, Verdura. So I'm just going to show you on this picture here. Can you see these cuff? And it's always worn as a pair. It's cuff there and that's a cuff there. This is the most iconic pair here. The pair, um, this was designed by Verdura, who was an Italian count who turned um, uh, um, a co not costume, uh, jewellery designer. And, um, and in the uh, 1930s, uh, Verdura and Coco Chanel really heavily collaborated, more so for her personal collection because she loved jewellery. Uh, this one here that she wears, or actually it's fine jewellery, it's white jade with actually precious stones with amethysts and rubies and so forth. And this is from the 1937, this one here. This uh, picture is actually an iconic picture, and I've only just found out today, it was actually photographed by Man Ray. Do you guys know who Man Ray is? Man Ray was actually a very um, well-known and one of the first female and very successful artist. She was an artist as well as photographer in the 1920s. So this portrait that you often see on Google and ads is actually a Man Ray picture. So the cuff that you see here, designed by Vidura, uh, was, um, uh, was inspired um, together, Matt of Verdura and, and Coco Chanel would actually take inspiration holidays all around Europe. So they would look at ancient um, relics, buildings to get um, inspiration for her own personal uh, collections. So this cuff that she's wearing here, the Verdura, famous Verdura cuffs, um, was uh, based on a Byzantine mosaic of the Empress Theodora in the Basilica of San Vitale in Ravenna. I think that's in Italy. So, <laughs> what? Sorry, I'm just very impressed. <laughs> I told you, if you love fashion and history, you have to watch this show. So, and so, so now, Fedura is still in um, production today. Um, they, they, uh, the House of Fedura, they're still in production. However, they're all fine jewelry. If you want something similar to this, guess how much it is? nowadays if you want something custom made like this oh so i had a quick look a a, a, a very simple version of these famous vidura cuffs will set you around about twenty six thousand us dollars but we have the affordable version today <laughs> so we have a 2007 version here from the and it's a byzantine collection inspired by the collaboration between Vidura and Chanel. Um, this features actually the hand-poured um, gripoir um, stones and, uh, and it has an enamel pearl and this actually has real pearl enamel on top and it is the same sort of perspex cuff, not jade but it is a perspex cuff with a little press stud um, closure there. Now gripoir is actually a t uh, it's um, um, we refer, refer this as Gripoir, a hand-poured stone, because it's actually an invention that was created by Grip, um, Augustine Gripoir. So when it comes to costume jewellery, the, in the old way, if you want to do a quick uh, fake version of something, you would bake it, then you will let it dry, and then you will stick it on or set it in within a, a costume uh, jewellery. And this is called paste jewellery. So in terms of jewellery, this is called paste jewellery. However, she de developed a way where she skipped the baking, the furnace part, where she would grind down semi-precious stones with melted glass and hand pour it into the setting, directly into the setting. And the benefit of this is skips that second journey um, time but mixing um, semi-precious stones with glass 
actually really enriches the color of the stones and give it a beautiful even color and luster. So uh, Augustine Gripoir, um, uh, her technique was so well known and the uh, high society of the late 19th century was so impressed with the quality of her work that um, the countesses, the royal families, asked her to create um, fake versions of their family heirlooms, especially if they're on public functions. They didn't want to be a security risk, so they often wore the fake versions of their family gems. Hence, this is where the term costume jewellery came about. Oh. <laughs> so I this found that... like fun school. Yeah, I think that is absolutely... Um, fascinating so costume jewelry should not be poo-pooed like it's not yeah. like actually some of the techniques are used in fine jewelry it's just the gems are not fine jewelry so this uh, <laughs> someone said I'm gonna watch this on demand again oh thank you so that's why um, I think Chanel really appreciated costume jewelry costume jewelry in that way you can have the same um, fine jewellery techniques, but it's available to all, available to everyone can afford. I now, say she wants to go to the University of Wii. <laughs> so, um, this, um, so, oh, and another thing about Gripoir, uh, Augustine Gripoir, which I've also discovered later, uh, earlier this, uh, this morning when I was doing my research, is the same glass is used, supplied by Tiffany's. So, those Americans uh, who are watching, what is the most famous thing about Tiffany is the Tiffany lamps, the, sta oh, the yeah. stained glass lamps. So, it actually comes all from the Gripoir. So, I found that, I think, that connection. And Tiffany lamps, 1920s, 30s, uh, I used to work in auctions. So, they would go fetch for tens of thousands of dollars so um i was gonna ask if it was like the stained glass style. exactly mm. yes the same stained glass so yes so um so this referring back to the Dura, won't be in the tens of thousands of dollars however it will be a much more affordable and you can still have that same sort of essence of Gripoir Vidura in this beautiful Byzantine 2007 version here. This one comes actually with a box and a pouch and it features uh, um, this beautiful Byzantine, also almost like a Maltese cross with the ruby red color and an emerald with a pearl setting has a little pressed up closure. The main part perspex is nice and clean with no scratches. And you press, uh, there's just light, light wear to the gold tone here. It's champagne gold, you press it open and I'm gonna go and get some, myself some Chanel vibes. Chanel always wore a pair. If we had a pair, that would be amazing. And this is what it looks like. So this is the 2007 version. And this is the 1937 version you see here. And the price of this, Rachel, is only £1,495, which is 1839 US dollars. And it includes its original box and pouch. So I'll just quickly show everybody. And I just think, that it's, uh, in terms of size, it's roughly eight centimeters across which is three inches across and it fits I am a standard watch 16 centimeter wrist watch size so um, net that fits me just fine so let me just pop that open okay so another fun item we have today is ASL 3409, ASL 3409. And we have this incredible modern piece, but it's a fun piece. It's a brooch with black rhinestones featuring, of course, the classic 2.55 bag, which is one of the most iconic bags and sought after bags in probably in our century. 20, are we in 21st or 22nd century now? 21st. With 21st yeah. century, yes. So what I love about this piece, it actually has a fully functioning um, chain. So you can, you can actually use this chain and loop it through a necklace and wear it as a statement charm, which will be fun. 
or you let the, uh, the chain grass drop and it becomes, and there's actually a pin backing. Um, yes, sure, Anna, Christina. Let me just quickly, let me just do that then for you. Uh, Anna, Christina wants to see the uh, Givenchy um, earrings. Has the pin back, um, sorry, it's clip on earrings. The condition is excellent. No chipping, no tarnish, all stones intact. And it feels strong and secure when worn. And it is available for £245. All your customs or duties are included. If you just tap on the um, handbag icon just below. Oh, actually, it's just pinned there. There you go. Take you to the website. I hope that helps. So this brooch, are you able to tell me what year this is? Yeah. I can't quite see without my glasses. Um, it doesn't be on the oh, actually, I think I could just oh, see. Yeah, no. I think it's from 2017. It is stamped um, Chanel and it has a date stamp uh, 2017 autumn collection. It has a strong uh, pin backing and I think this is just an incredibly fun piece. And I love the way that the chain sort of drops down. So it's like a fully functioning um, uh, handle strap. So the brooch is available for £495, which is 608 US dollars. All you need to do is just tap on that icon just there, where it'll take you to the website where you can see further information and, and see further images. And most importantly, you can add to cart if you want to purchase this item. And it's just there. Fun and I found this is it's NW2836. It's actually an unsigned piece, but I just love it because it's just incredibly fun. And it's my show, so I can show whatever I like. <laughs> <laughs> so it's actually a 1980s costume jewelry. It's actually a belt. And to me, I think this is just so fun. Um, I actually sourced this in Italy. Um, and it features a gold chain it's unsigned it's no particular designer but what i love about it it has two little hearts hearts are big this season as you can see with um with chanel and ysl um, heart is the symbol this summer what i like about this it features all these fun little stones uh, it these are, I don't think they're real stones from looking at it, but it looks like lapis lapislazuli. You've got some a turquoise and you have a quartz or some a jade looking one. These are not fine jewellery. This is costume jewellery, just by the way. So I know they look like M&Ms, you know, yeah, or jelly beans. And you know, Rachel, you know, whenever I see something cute, I really want to lick this. No, I will, I won't lick it though. <laughs> you just want to like eat it so that's how i feel <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so it's designed as a belt so you can wear it uh hooked up like this i think in the summer it will be fun you can see it's a low slung like that or you can wear it as a necklace or you could wear it as what were those necklaces you said the other day that were open-ended they have a name open-ended uh oh like a um like a lariat yeah yeah so you can wear it like a necklace so a lariat which is basically open-ended and you just tie it and i think that's quite a fun uh I would way you wear it looped and then hanging down yeah the or i would yeah i think this is really oh oh that looks cute yeah, like this cool. so yeah you can have it looped and hanging and because of the weight of the piece, it won't fall off. It's pretty like heavy. That. Or if you want extra security, you can just clip them back on each other like that. Cute. Very good. I think, I yeah. I think, I just think, I just remember, I just think this just brings me so much joy. Lots of ways of wearing this. 
uh, especially now we're going into the summer season. So I would say this is a 1980s piece, unsigned, just costume jewelry, uh, a fun, a fun way to, if you love vintage, you, don't, you know, all vintage doesn't have to be designer. There are other um, vintage pieces um, that should get, give them credit for their design and the way they're made. This is in great condition, um, gold plated, nice heavy chain, and it's a double loop chain. And the price of this will be shortly revealed. Just show you the condition. And it's only 125 pounds, which is 153 US dollars. I like how one of the art is um, attached at the top and one's attached on the side. Yes, exactly. Like they're askew, aren't they? They're not like symmetrical. It has a kind of like Le Croix vibe to them. Le Croix or Moschino. Um, reminds me of those sort of fun, quirky styles. So if you love this piece and you just love vintage, you love the colours, all you need to do is just tap on that icon. It's only £125, which is $153 US dollars, and all your customs and duties are included in the, in the price. Let's do some scarves. We have some really nice scarves. We've got two scarves coming up. because oh, that's nice. Yeah. I mean, sun's out in London today and um, it's getting warmer in London. So we're all like getting ready uh, for the summer. Ooh, and this is perfect for the things you I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> and what I love about this one, it features, this is an Hermes scarf and it features a crown. And whose jubilee is it? No, Platinum Jubilee next Hi. Friday. It is our Her Royal Highness, Queen Elizabeth II. So I would say this is paying homage to her. Can you believe she's been on the throne for 75 That's years? That's insane, isn't it? 75 years, and yet she's still working. And mm -hmm. it's like Sabrina. Oh my God. <laughs> Sabrina, Sabrina won't ever retire. <laughs> Yes, it's a platinum jewelry. Yes, so this one is in lovely condition. I would say looking at this, it's probably a 1990s or 80s version. Um, what's the, be the beauty about Hermes scarves are that they're only done in limited runs. Um, and um, once that design is discontinued, it's discontinued. So making actually, um, there is a whole new community of Hermes uh, scarf collectors. They're almost like works of art. And did you know, I don't know if Hermes do this, but I remember um, going to an Hermes workshop several years ago they, when they were at the Saatchi Gallery in London. They actually have an open competition. Anyone could actually submit their design. Anyone could submit the design. Uh, there was one famous design. It had like 57 colors, which is the most colors that you can print Remember, this is screen printing. So the process of screen printing is one color, one color, one color. Um, it's a very expensive process, but the vibrant colors make it very, make these items very special. So if you have 57 colors, you need 57 prints, screens. So the guy who designed this uh, 57 print design was a, a picture of a Navajo um, Indian woman with feathers. And he was a postman in the USA. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I can't remember the name, but he was just a postman and he got his uh, designs accepted. And he used to like drawing on the side, so which is um, quite incredible. Uh, these, this is a beautiful design featuring a crown. I think it's perfect for the qu celebration, celebrating the Queen's Jubilee next Friday of her 75 year reign. It features the gold and blue and navy design and have these wonderful crowns with pearls in them. It actually says Hermes Paris on there. And these, uh, when you're looking for authentic scarves, you're looking for uh, the mulberry silk, which is the rib silk. Can you see there's tiny, tiny little ribbing inside? It really absorbs the color. And they are hand rolled hems. So you're looking for the way where they are um, the, hand, the, the finishing is not as machine stitch, stitch it's actually rolled. You so can you, roll that. Yeah, you can, you roll it like this, very, very thin. And if you're, I think I remember at the workshop, it was these two sisters have been working for Hermes for 50 years. And they were a little bit worried because they were getting in their 70s, but they were so quick and they can do it in one string. They just do it with one hand and then quickly sew. 
shot. Yeah, they were incredible. These I two. Didn't copy them. Pretty yeah. Pretty well, if you're sewing, your thing breaks. You have to start again. So it has to be, one, to be one, one. Thing. Yeah. For it to be secure. So it has to be one. Of course. Yes. Oh God, so you're looking for the way the edges are finished. The hand rolled hem has to be towards the back side of the print, away from the front side of the print. And this is definitely a hand rolled hem. Um, so yes, the scarf is in wonderful condition, and I will, let me just grab one thing. I'm going to disappear for one second to find something. So whoever buys this scarf will throw in this complimentary Hermes guide. It's actually a Hermes knotting card guide. Um, and it's like a playing card with lots of different ways you can wear your scarf. That is cool. Yeah. That is cool. Isn't it cool? They, they, yeah. So um, we'll throw in the scarf. So the price of this scarf is... Show one more time. It is two hundred and fifty pounds, which is three hundred and seven US dollars. There you go. And remember, I'll throw in the complimentary um, guide to knotting a scarf by Hermes with this scarf. Uh, whoever purchases this item, and if you want to purchase it, all you need to do is just tap on that icon just there. It's two hundred and fifty pounds and three hundred and seven US dollars. It includes all your customs and duties. Uh, somebody was asking, do we have any twiddies? I don't have any twiddies today, I'm afraid. Just this scarf, this vintage scarf. But, yes. Yeah. Oh, is that yours? Sorry. I was yeah. just replying to Charlotte. Okay. She said she wanted the Hermes scarf with the leopard on, and we've got that twiddy, haven't we? Have with we? the leopard. Oh. The blue one. Is it, uh, uh, is it online already? I think so. Yeah. So, just to show the colours, I think somebody was asking about the colour. The colour is red, navy, with gold, yellow, gold, and white. There we go. Right, another scarf we've got coming up is this Chanel scarf. Oh, I love this scarf. What I love about this scarf, it features all the Chanel jewellery. I love this. Isn't this absolutely charming? And I think I have sold all of these jewellery before. <laughs> uh, you can see, you can recognise. Um, do you recognise the Elizabeth Taylor um, earrings that we sold on Monday? The large CC earrings. And uh, have lots of chain belts, which we have sold in the past. So if you're a fan of vintage and you, love, and you're, you collect vintage Chanel jewellery, you may have to add this to your collection because this really, really celebrates all those fun jewellery pieces. It's also inspired by Chanel's personal look. You can see that she wears a lot of jewellery, a lot of pearls, a lot of cuffs. And this famous uh, um, photo, photograph was uh, photographed by Man Ray in 1927. So this one is in good condition. Uh, it is a silk crepe with hand rolled hems. It, it is signed Chanel. I just saw it just now. Yeah, signed Chanel there. Is and that a different material to the other silk there. Yeah, sometimes uh, Chanel does chiffon, which is very thin. Then this is silk crepe. And then there's the mulberry silk, which has got a fine uh, rib or fine um, design in it. And it, it has its original sewing label. It's 100% silk made in Italy. So this is a really, really fun scarf. Um, in terms of condition, I can't see anywhere. There's no makeup stains or anything like that. Love these earrings, these pearl earrings. I just love this. The iconic... Elizabeth Taylor earring that we had on Monday, that big CC. Lots, strings and strings of pearls. Love this design as well. Looks like a mother of pearl belt with a CC logo. So this scarf is 280 pounds, which is 344 US dollars. 
If you want to purchase this item, it's available there. You see it's just on the bottom icon just there where it'll take, you could tap on that image and it'll take you to the website where you can see further imagery, you can read the description, and most importantly, you can add to cart. And um, guys, remember all your customs and duties are included during this live show or if you're shopping outside the UK. Okay. Let's move on to some bags. Uh, let's do a canvas tote. So we have a good, you know, sturdy, uh, this is called the Cabas Alto GM tote bag. And I believe this is the precursor to the Neverfall. So the Neverfall didn't actually come into production or available to the public to purchase since um, only until 2007. And this is a much earlier model. So the Cabas tote comes in three sizes, PM, MM and GM. And this is the large um, MM size. And I think this is a great... Um, is that the GM? This is the GM, yeah. So this is the large GM size. This is, I think, a, a great carry-all bag. So if you want to get your hands on a Neverfall or you want or you like the look of your Neverfall, maybe you've got all of them, but you want something alternative, um, this is a good option. Um, it's a really, really large size bag. It's about 40 centimetres across. So as a travel, it's ideal as a travel bag, a uh, gym bag or weekend away bag. It's really strong and sturdy, which Louis Vuitton is known for. Um, it's crafted from that monogram and um, treated canvas. The canvas is nice and clean. Um, shows just light wear to the base, and this is, has a fichette leather base. Yes, the handles are incredibly sturdy, very, very sturdy. Actually, because they're not so thin, they actually feel very not as thin as the Neverfall, because Neverfall, I think, is slightly smaller, thinner. It actually feels strong and sturdy. Um, there, it has a fichette leather bottom. I like the way that it has a, it also almost comes up. So, it, you know, this pro, uh, gives a uh, good protection to the bag. There is light wear to the corners of the bag. And it's nice and clean. Well, it's fairly clean on the, on the bottom, just light wear to the base there. Interior is nice and clean. Very, very clean. And it's designed to be a practical bag. Um, it has an interior pocket. And the pocket is nice and clean. And it has a little um, section here for the old school mobile phone. It even has a D-ring here. So if you have any detachable um, external pockets that you want to attach onto for security, that's handy to have there. Uh, this one, often the date stamp is hidden. If you see a little D-ring like this, the date stamp is hidden on the back. Louis Vuitton products. Uh, this is AR0080. So looking at this, this is a, a year 2000 model made in France. So a year 2000. So we're talking about 22 years old, this, this bag. And um, it's still very, very strong and sturdy. The handles are also nice and clean with even patina. No major watermarks along the straps. And look how st sturdy and strong. It has this little uh, brass D-ring here. So very, very secure. Yeah, old school mobile phone holder. Yes. Oh, someone said that's a good idea. Now, yes, the old school mobile phone phone holder you see here is now the perfect antibacterial gel. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree. So in terms of what it can carry, it can carry everything. I think it can carry your whole life in there. Definitely a great work bag, gym bag, travel bag. Um, I don't need to demonstrate how to put in a laptop. It definitely will put in a laptop. Five laptops. Five laptops as well. So this bag is £695, which is $854 US dollars. If you want to purchase this item or you want to see further information on this item, all you need to do is just tap on that bottom icon just there. It's, the price includes all your customs and duties. And shipping is £10, uh, Europe is 15 and overseas is uh, uh, £35. And I think this is just a really, really great everyday carry-all bag. If you have just joined, I'm Winnie from Luxury Promise. And today, in the next hour, it will be I will be recapping some of my favourite vintage pieces um, on Luxury Promise. So, someone's just asked, Savorn. Uh, any damage to any of the canvas? No, the canvas is actually in excellent condition. Let me just show you. Yep, 
no I've actually yet to see any damage to any monogram canvas because it's just so so durable it is a treated canvas it's coated so there is um, a, almost like a texture to it it's water resistant or water repellent and the interior is nice and clean and the handles are also in good condition with just light wear and use the the bottom does have slight marks due to use and this one has a more of a visible scuff mark just there and the price is 695 695 pounds which is 854 us dollars all you need to do is just tap on that bottom icon so another great bag which i totally love is the totally bag <laughs> Yes, a bit of a mum joke there. <laughs> so this is like the smaller compact size. And our colleague Natalie has one of these bags and she, she swears it's the best work bag. What's good about this bag, it has actually two external little pockets, one here and one here. And a um, great way to put all your, maybe your travel cards or your wallet or whatever, your phone, or even a bottle of water handy on the outside before you having to open your bag. Um, this bag is a good uh, medium sized bag, is a good camp compact size bag, great for everyday use. It, uh, it's made from the treated canvas with the monogram design. And it has contrasting uh, vachette leather straps and it has gold tone brass hardware and this is the totally, I think it's called totally uh, PM size or MM size. And one pocket here and one pocket here as well. It is a vintage pre-owned item, so do expect some wear. Uh, just some light wear to the handles, but there's no cracking and no damage. So it's still very, very strong and secure. Uh, inside, it is fully lined in canvas. And there are light pen marks on the interior and there is handy little pockets as well and it's a zip top opening bag and i think this is just a great sort of everyday shoulder bag if you're out and about and the price of this will be revealed shortly let me just show you the corners one more time overall it is in good condition. The price of this is just only £495, which is 608 US dollars. That is a great price because I've seen these go for an extra £100 more on the resale, 595 to 695 So this is under a resale price of £495. And I think this is just a good everyday uh, work bag. And if you want to purchase this item, all you need to do is just tap on that bottom icon where it'll take you to the website where you can see further imagery and most importantly, you can add to cart. So uh, let's see what else there is. Uh, let's do some, let's do a little Chanel wallet. So let's do a little unboxing. Uh, got a lovely little Chanel item. Sometimes the best things come in Chanel boxes, black boxes. So this one I've got here is a Rue Cambon bifold wallet, a vintage one from the early 2000 period. Comes with a box and it comes with a little care booklet and it comes with a little dust cloth as well. And um, it is the a classic Rue Cambon design, which was first launched in the early sort of Y2K era crafted from calf leather with a contrasting black and beige design. Um, it came in two colorways, um, white and black or black and beige. Uh, this is a bifold color uh, wallet, uh, pop lock closure. And inside there are card sections with um, one, two, guys. Guys. One, two, three, four card sections. Uh, eight card sections in total and there is a little cash section as well at the back fully lined with the CC Jacquard logo it comes with its original Chanel um, card and this is a 10 series 
And what's nice about this wallet, it comes with an integrated coin section as well. So a separate area to put your coins. There is some light wear to the interior side of the coin section, but it's fully fu functioning and it has silver hardware. So this is a very practical wallet. Comes with its card, serial sticker and box. And the price of this, uh, generally it is in good condition with light wear. It is a pre-owned, pre-used item. Oh, thank you, Hazel. We did have one earlier, but we just sold it. But keep an eye on our future shows. Maybe we'll get another one in. I'm just loading the picture. No problem. Uh, 10 series, I think 10 series is uh, from 2005, 2006. So Y2K era. So the purse is up. And this wallet is only £190. Hun guys, I don't need to sell it. It sells itself. The price sells itself. £190, which is $233. US It pretty much comes with the card, the sticker, the dust cloth, and its original box. And all you need to do is just tap on the icon. Do it now before somebody else does. <laughs> so it is... Um, very, very uh, affordable, great entry level piece for uh, uh, vintage uh, Chanel. And it's available just there. You just need to tap on that imagery there and it'll take you to the website where you can see further imagery and read the description of that item. Uh, other bags, let's do some, oh, let's do an agenda. I haven't done an agenda in a while. This is AWL 2508. AWL2508. Uh, right, so we have a vintage uh, Chanel patent agenda. And I know you guys love agendas. The LV ones often sell out very, very quickly. But this is a nice um, Chanel version. It's a vintage piece. Um, it is in good to fair condition. It has obviously somebody in the 80s or 90s was very yuppie and, and uh, <laughs> really used this. Maybe it helped them in the career. So um, it has that paint and leather with a CC logo, a bifold closure with a pop lock closure. And inside it has a, a six ring binder, which um, is a standard six ring binder, which you can um, get from all um, good station, stationers. Signed Chanel. And there is a little closure here, like a pocket here to put any documents or your business cards in there, as well as a separate pouch here to put any other documents here as well. Uh, it is patent and it has, uh, let's see, does it have a serial sticker? The serial sticker is no longer there, but the, looking at this, this is a 90s piece, so mid 90s item. Uh, it does have signs of wear, like wear to the corners. But overall, the patent is actually in good condition, as in it doesn't feel sticky. Uh, just some colour loss just here. Pop lock closure uh, closes securely. And the interior shows somewhere with light wear just here. Yes, sure, Jackie, I'll show that afterwards. Is it the black? Must be that black. The medallion. Yeah, yeah, the medallion, yeah. So, hello, can you please show the black tote bag, please? Yeah. I will do that, Jackie, no problem. And the price of this item will be caught shortly coming up. Oh, look, guys, it even has a separate pen holder as well. The thought of everything at Chanel. Now you need a Chanel pen. Yeah, you need it. Do, does Chanel do pens? Mm -hmm. <laughs> do they? Do they? Let us know. They do. They must do. They must do, yeah. To open the, uh, the, the binder, you just need to press down, and that opens up. Love the medallion. Yeah, I'll do the medallion next. Oh, so that was always a thing. I just used to yank my ring binders open. No. No. Okay. <laughs> you did it wrong all these years, Rachel. It is uh, this fantastic, collectible, and highly useful 
um, Chanel uh, Black Painting Agenda. It's only £250, which is 307 US dollars. All you need to do is just tap on that icon there and it will take you to the website where you can see further imagery and most importantly, you can shop directly as well. And all your duties and taxes are included in the price during this live show. I'll move on to the medallion tote. I see lots of people asking. So we have one of the uh, one of the most iconic bags and actually has been discontinued since 2015 is the caviar medallion tote made famous probably in the Y2K era so the early 2000 um, this is uh, the medallion tote was actually uh, sort of crafted from a number of different materials caviar skin being the most popular there was lambskin, they even offered it in painted leather and they even offered it in velvet as well. So we have the black, this is the classic design, black caviar skin, uh, vintage medallion tote. And the caviar skin is probably the best one out of all that range because it's highly durable. We, um, they're often in very good condition. Because of the high grain of the caviar skin, it's really easy to look after the bag. This one's in excellent condition with minimal wear to the corners of the bag. Uh, that beautiful caviar skin also has the handy back pocket and it has that iconic CC applique and rolled leather handles. What gives it its name, of course, is its uh, hardware, the CC uh, Chanel medallion hardware and the gold gilding is excellent. It is. Sasha asked us about things. Does it fit a 13 inch? I'm thinking no. This one? No. Yeah. Uh, so, Ty, so you wanted to know if it fits a 13 inch? I'm not going to even tempt. I don't think so. Um, because. Oh, great if you keep it all beneath. Yeah, maybe if you do it like that way, but you'll have the hand carry yeah, the bag no. and you'll have the laptops poking no. out. No. No. Uh, it is in pristine condition. Uh, it is a zip top opening bag and it comes with its uh, original Chanel dust bag and it has its original series sticker. This is a six series so it's from 2002, 2003 or 2000 to 2002 so early Y2K era. Uh, it's, it's actually in very, I mean it's in pristine condition. Uh, in terms of how can you can wear it over the shoulder, yes, you can. Uh, it's designed to be worn quite snugly over the shoulder or handheld. And the handles are in great condition and the hardware is excellent on the medallion. Let me just show the condition one more time. And like I said, this has this design has been discontinued since 2015, making it fairly collectible now, along with the GST and the PST, which was around that time as well. Can I ask how to check my order status? Who should I contact? Hazel, if you drop customer care at luxurypromise.com with your order number, somebody would get, be able to get back to you fairly, very quickly. And just to reply to her there, it should be going out today. Uh, yeah. Okay. So the medallion tote is £1,900, which is US dollars um, it is available to purchase right now. All you need to do is just tap on that bottom picture icon. Um, that will take you to the website where you can see further imagery and read the further description on this bag. Remember the price also includes your customs and duties during this live show only. So if you're shopping from outside the UK, this is a great opportunity to buy um, your favorite vintage pieces. Uh, for shipping, it is £10, uh, Europe is 15 and overseas is £35. Now, for those who've just joined us, in, my name is Winnie and this is my Vintage Power Hour, where I'll be showcasing around about 20 pieces of my favourite vintage pieces available at Luxury Promise. Uh, 
during this live show i'll be showcasing them talking about them hopefully giving some history on these pieces and then the picture icon will appear which is one two three at a time and you can shop dynamically in real time you just tap on those images and it'll take you to the website and you can purchase straight away during the live show all our customs and duties are included and we accept all major forms of credit and debit card as well as paypal as well so and a top tip, if you are in a hurry and you want to see what uh, you're watching on the go and you want to see what we have featured so far, there is a little handbag icon just here. You tap on the handbag icon, it will feature what we have featured so far on this show. So that is that bag. Now let's move on to this fun bag. This is a Chanel little shoulder tote bag. It's really, really sweet. Lambskin leather. Um, and it's looking at this this actually looks navy a dark navy this is a really fun vintage bag uh, this style of bag actually came in two sizes a larger size and this is the smaller pm size um, has the cc logo um, hi winnie black pvc chanel cap oh hello yes i know who you are oh mrs wickliff uh nice to meet you the other day Mrs. Wycliffe actually discovered us in Dubai whilst watching a live show. Aww. And she's ended up shopping with us and she bought my favorite Coco window bag. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so this bag is crafted from lambskin leather and um, it features the matelasse design. So mat when we say matelasse, matelasse is French for diamond quilting. So Chanel does two types of quilting. The matelasse, well actually three types of quilting. The matelasse, which is a diamond quilting. The um, mademoiselle, which is the vertical quilting. And also cocoa chocolate bar, which is very similar to this. This is the cocoa, yeah. So this little tote bag or shoulder bag comes with two external, um, bag, uh, two external pockets. One pocket here and one pocket here. Um, it has lovely long intertwining um, gold chain, which is gilded in 24 karat gold. And it has these comfort straps at the top, so it, you know the chain won't dig into you. This bag can be worn over the shoulder and it uh, sits comfortably hip height on me. Or you can wear this crossbody very easily as well and this is a good length it's not a high cross it's actually a good um, sort of uh, waist height uh, crossbody style now the benefits of this bag the one thing thing about this bag is it comes with a matching purse uh, which is so incredibly charming now we've come across these bags before and often the purse is missing the purse, how you know it had a matching purse is because can you see that little press stud here? On these vintage versions, the press stud was actually part of this bag. You pop that in and you press that into the envelope. So it becomes an extra little handy pouch. Uh, just love these. I mean, I've seen these go for several hundred pounds on its own. Um, so they, on its own, it has its own resale value because um, they're handy. You can put your cards in there. Uh, put, you know, you can use that as a separate little pouch or purse. Uh, the larger version is actually perfect for pu putting your sunglasses in as well. Does that one have, the, does the little purse have a serial code so you can match it to the exact bag? No, for, no, I'm afraid, yeah. So these ones are do not come signed with a serial sticker. The serial sticker is actually... Um, integral to the main part of the bag uh, so you can see the serial sticker just there this is a one series from 1989 to 91 uh, the bag also comes with its original um, card as just here and it has a, a sev several uh, pockets inside and a zip up pocket as um, inside as well uh, Hazel says can I ask Winnie some uh, question how to stop vintage chanel color coming off when i clean my bag polish my bag the black color stain my well what you really need to do um is probably use leather balm leather balm actually nourishes the leather and you can get them off amazon and items like that so um just uh keep 
There are actually, I believe on Amazon, I've not used this, but other clients have told me there are actually color protectors, uh, which is a special balm, which is stopping leather from color transferring to the body uh, or to your clothing. And there are special uh, balms who do that as well. So, overall, this bag is in good, clean condition, excellent gilding on the hardware, no tarnish. Just light wear to the corners of the bag and it's nice and clean and it includes the matching purse inside. The interior is in excellent condition, has a serial sticker and card and it sits uh, smoothly as well. So the price of this bag is uh, the price of this bag is £1,995, which is $2,454 US dollars. Um, yes, it is like a, it is like a camera bag. Mm -hmm. um, uh, oh, I've just seen this as well. Look, you can see the inscribed Chanel logo in, on the hardware, which gives it a nice finish. Um, so if you like this bag and you want to see further information on this bag, all you need to do is just tap on that button icon um, and it'll take you to the website where you can see imagery, read further information, and most importantly, you can add to cart. Laura, yes, it does go cross body. Even though it's a double strap, you can wear it comfortably cross body. I'm about five foot three and I am a UK 12, and it fits as a low, low cross, not a high cross sometimes, it's a low cross, and it sits equivalent to, parallel to my um, waist. Uh, oh, that's nice. Uh, Sophia came in showing off her Mademoiselle camera bag we got off you last week. Oh, fantastic. Oh, no problem, Laura. I'm happy to help. So, in, friends on Instagram, you can see I'm talking to customers on here. So, if you want to watch this live show, you need to head uh, look at the pinned comment below, head over, and this is where we can interact. You can ask me questions, you can um, ask me uh, styling and, and gauge in size. So, head over to luxurypromise.com and hit the live shopping page. Another bag. Let's do some Louis this morning. I've featured quite a few Louis uh, this morning, and we have the classic Verney uh, pochette bag. Um, this is the Verney pochette because it has a high gloss patent leather with the monogram design. I can hear the soul bells. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what has sold. We'll just have a quick um, look. Just some of the stuff up in there. Oh, okay. Uh, not the items off my show at the moment. Let me just have a quick uh, drink of water. But, you know, thank you so far for those who have bought items from this show. Um, it is amazing. And I'm glad you guys all love the show. Enjoy, the, enjoy watching and listening to the stories behind these bags. This one has, um, want to sell some handbags? Who can I contact? Um... There is an email called sell at luxurypromise.com if you send your information over. Most importantly, when you are looking for evaluation of your items, please send pictures and state the condition of the bag and its inclusion. That way we can make an informed valuation of your item. So this bag um, features the Verney leather in a beige colorway. Now the Verney leather uh, was, came about um, during the um, time where Marc Jacobs was a creative director at Louis Vuitton. So this is one of his sort of creations. Um, the Verney leather actually has a beautiful high gloss, it's patent leather, and it actually has a enamel shimmer. If you look closely, it almost has a light shimmer to it. So this is a, the fantastic um, pochette bag. It has beautiful pochette leather strap and it uh, has a little uh, top opening zip. Uh, this is giving me nostalgic vibes back in the day when we got lip gloss at, <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, I remember. That's what I was like, oh, oh my gosh. That is so true, Kulsalma. Uh What magazines used to give out free lip gloss? 
Well, it was the ones for teenagers and then yeah. even the elderly ones. Yeah. I used to read as a kid, well, teenager. I used to read Bliss, Bliss Sugar. Bliss Sugar. I'm going way back. There was one called Just 17. Just 17. I, know. I got that one. I, I love Bliss Just 17. Sugar. Yeah. Sugar, I used to read. I was getting a bit older then, but I remember oh. picking that up. Oh, yeah. yeah. And there was something called More. Was there a More magazine? There was oh, one that was slightly I moved, ruder. I moved to Grazia after that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do those this magazine still exist? I think Grazia does. Yeah, I Grazia. Heat does. Heat. Oh my gosh. Heat. I used to get that religiously, Heat magazine. Just seven. And what else was there? Um, you know what, though? Showing my age, the other day I picked up a copy of Women's Own on the tube, and I've got. It was really interesting. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's how I've grown from just 17 to a woman's own. And, and it's still 60p. Good housekeeping. <laughs> yeah. Can you believe a magazine is still 60p nowadays? So, um, yes, yeah. so this one is in good condition. Uh, it does have some in uh, light wear to the base. Can you see where it's slightly discoloured? But the fichette leather is in excellent condition. It has no, it has no um, what, patina or dark marks generally nice and clean what's nice about this bag it has a detachable strap it's got lobster cast so it's detachable so you can attach well wear this bag on its own as a shoulder bag or you can attach it for example the uh the canvas tote if you had a little d-ring inside your bag you can attach it inside a bag as well let me just quickly uh Bye, Satar sisters. Hope you have a good day. And we'll see you in the near future. So, so you can attach it inside another bag. So it becomes a very handy security pouch. You put your passports in there or any cash or anything, you know, you need urgently and secure. So. And in terms of a bag, you can definitely wear this over the shoulder. It's like the perfect evening bag or going out bag and definitely you can hand hold the bag so this incredible verney monogram lexington pouch is only 250 pounds which is 307 us dollars just 250 pounds which is 307 us dollars if you want to walk down the nostalgia lane and go back to your y2k era Paris Hilton lip gloss just 17 reading magazine time all you need to do is just tap on that icon just there it includes all your duties and uh, custom customs included if you're shopping outside the UK so <clears throat> another cool vintage we've got like three more bags I think we've got everything which we've is good one two three four yeah. four bits yes so, going even way back, um, I love this actually. This is a 1960s Fendi bag in an acrylic perspex uh, design. Um, it's just a very, like, very iconic of the 60s. Obviously, 50, post war, 50s and 60s um, uh, design houses were trying to uh, discover new ways, materials of uh, incorporating into handbags. And this is like a plastic acrylic resin design with a little lift clasp. And it's very iconic of the 60s era, very sleek in design. This is in lovely condition considering the age. And what I like about this, it has the FF logo just discreetly in the corner. Yes, it's a 1960s uh, design vintage Fendi. It's a two, it's it's a two-way pouch, so you can um, it can you can tuck in the strap. It's actually the straps are removable. Can you see? There is a little clasp here. You can take off the straps and you can wear it as a clutch, or you can have the clutch and use it as a shoulder bag. And the shoulder bag is designed with a little adjustable strap. It's on the longest setting. You can see if it can wear. You can just about wear it as a shoulder strap. It's a very a cross body, but it's a high cross. And remember, this is 1960s design. Back then, the women design was not, nobody wore bags cross body. It was either a clutch or very ladylike over the shoulder. 
So it opens up and inside it is fully lined. And this is the original logo. It says Fendi Roma made in Italy. How simple the Fendi logo was back then. So this is like an incredible, uh, almost going back into history. It's beautifully made. Um, it has actually leather panels on the side with a detachable strap. Even though it has a resin or acrylic base, it has leather panels and it is fully lined as well in a canvas design. Just light wear to the overall exterior of the body. Yes, sure, I could show you the strap scratches. Charlotte, give me one. Um, don't know if you can see it yet. It just has light, ever so light scratches, which you can just about see there. But in terms of cracking or major damage, there is none. Being a hard base, it's very, very durable. And of course, being plastic, it's water resistant, so you can wipe it down. The clasp is a lift clasp and it closes securely. And the leather is in great condition with an adjustable strap. Let me just see if you can see any. Can you just see that's the light scratches there? So it's just popped up. This Fendi bag is available for only two hundred and fifty pounds, which is three hundred and seven US dollars. Uh, a great iconic nineteen sixties Fend vintage Fendi in black uh, resin lucite bag, and it's available. Just there. All you need to do is just tap on that icon to purchase. Let me just put that in. And moving on, we have the last two bags, and then we'll do a quick rundown. Uh, let's do this bag. So it comes with the box. This is AWL2147. So it comes with the vintage box. And, uh, and it is a classic pop lock closure vintage Chanel bag in beige lambskin. Uh, this is a uh, lovely sort of light colour tone beige lambskin with the quilted matte lasso design and gold tone hardware. It's a two-way bag, so it has a pop lock closure. And the um, strap is actually tucked in. And it can be... It's nice and clean inside with a contrasting uh, brown colourway, which makes this quite fun and unusual. It comes with... See the serial sticker, is there? Yes, I wanted to, I was wanted to hope so. So this comes with a serial sticker and it comes with its original um, card as well. Now, you may be looking at this, thinking this looks really, really odd. Now, what we have here is actually the first serialization of Chanel bag. So the very first early, early Chanel bags came with these um, authenticity cards. And the early ones actually had a, a gray strip across. Now, in the bag, most of the this is what the serial sticker looks like. It looks really big and bold. There are actually six digits, not the usual seven digits that you see. So it's a 171910. Can you just see? It's a serial sticker. Sometimes the serial stickers are in the bottom left-hand corner or sometimes they're hidden underneath the flap of the bag. So uh, this one, as it's six digits, the very first uh, serialized codes with the six digit was in 1984-85. So this is 1984-85 bag. What makes this kind of unusual is that on the serial sticker on the code, it's just six digits. However, on the card, they will always put a suffix of zero, making the card seven digits with a zero and um, six digit on the actual bag. I know it's very confusing, but I don't know what, what was the rhyme and reason, but that's how you know. First of all, you've got to look for a grey strip and you've got to look for a zero. And the bag should have six digits code and the card should be seven digits. So this is a 1984 bag. Uh, 
and I was just looking at the box and I was looking for something. And this is another way of telling uh, the age of the bag and if this is the original box. Now, often on the Chanel boxes, there is a barcode and you can see the code here, 17191. So this is the original code that also matches the bag. If you drop the zero. So actually, this is a real time machine. Everything's complete since 1984. I was watching Back to the Future yesterday with my son. So this is a, a real like 1984, um, 1985 bag. So a real um, time capsule piece of a bag. So in terms of condition, this bag does show some light wear. But overall, it's in good, clean condition. The hardware is amazing. Original 24 karat gold gilding, pop lock closure, and the bag is just 22, uh, 2,200 pounds, which is 2,706 US dollars, um, which includes. Do you think this is where they got the idea for the volunteer? Yes, could be. Someone asking, or should your your answer? Oh, Rachel asked a very good, valid question. She said, it looks like a wallet on chain. Do you think this is, could be the precursor to wallet on chain? I think it could well be. Um, this is 1984 to 85. It has that wallet on chain style because it's slim fitting. It looks like a wallet. Uh, and the way it's designed could be worn two ways. Uh, it ha you can tuck in the chain and use it as a clutch like this or you can actually use this, this chain and use it as a shoulder bag. And this wouldn't really work as a, a crossbody style bag because it's just too short. Uh, definitely as a clutch or as a shoulder bag. Yes, I'll show the con condition again, Monica. Um, it is a pre-owned vintage item. It does have light, just light, light wear to the leather. Overall, the leather is nice and clean. There is no color transfer along the back. Um, anybody born in 84, 85? Yeah. Right. Yes. Oh, Rachel, are you born in 84, 85? Yeah, 84. So this is the year, your year of birth bag. Oh, you youngsters. <laughs> so nowhere to the corners of the bag. Nice and clean inside. Gold tone hardware is excellent. Comes with its original, this is an early example of a Chanel serialized bag. <laughs> yes, Beth. yes. I think I was 12 in 84, 85, I think. Um, so I, um, the, there is a serial sticker, there is a card, and there is a box as well. So if you want to purchase this item, it is 2,200 pounds, which is 2,706 US dollars. All you need to do is just tap on the icon just there. Wait, yes. Yeah. Is that in your big birthday coming up? Oh, who's? Is that in your big birthday coming up? Uh, no, 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 oh, no, I think maybe I was a bit younger than that. Okay. No, 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 I'm not quite Hawaii 5 0 yet. <laughs> <laughs> not quite, although nearing towards it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, let me put that back. And our last bag. That's been a really fun show. Yeah. We've shown everything. I'm so happy. That's really your knowledge. I, I realised at some point I was just going. <laughs> <laughs> Were you like, oh, sh I need to uh, quickly moderate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm at work. <laughs> so we have this really, really fun suede little camera bag. It's a nice compact camera bag. Um, and it has that diamond quilting with a CC logo. It's a really, really sweet size and, it's, I, and it has leather straps with a little tie at the top. Um, ideally worn as a crossbody style bag. So if you're looking small, compact size bag, this is the bag for you. Um, and it is um, crafted from black suede. Beautiful, can you see that detail? The matelasse ring, gold tone ring, hardware. Has a little zipper pull with the matelasse chain. Inside, it is nice and clean. And it includes its original serial sticker only, and it's a two series from 91 to 94. In terms 
of size, what can it fit? Let's do the phone test. Got the iPhone 13, yes, and it fits the iPhone 13 perfectly. So I think as like, if you're popping out, um, as popping out bag, this is the perfect size because it will carry, it can carry your phone, your wallet, lipstick, keys, whatever you need on hand. In terms of wear and tear, there is just one light uh, wear to one corner of the bag, but the main body is nice and clean, no color transfer. Um, the piling on the suede uh, maintains a good condition with uh, good condition on the shoulder strap as well. And I like the fact it's leather strap, so, you know, it's, I think it'd be nice and comfortable. And it's just a very simple and sweet bag. This bag is an incredible price at only £1,200, which is $1,476 US dollars. It includes all your customs and duties. And all you need to do is just chat, tap on that icon just there. Let me just show the condition one more time. Just one light wear to one corner of the bag, but generally in good, clean condition. It includes serial sticker only and it is from 91 to 94. So that is the end of my show. Okay. Um, if you want to quickly, I've got 15 minutes. So if you want me to quickly recap anything, I might just quickly do that now. Um, if you don't mind pinning while I recap. So we still have this incredible Hermes um, scarf, uh, which is available at 250 pounds. Uh, Rachel will pin that. And uh, it's a vintage scarf, 80s, 90s, and it includes a little how to notch a scarf guide from Hermes, included in the sale of their bag, if you wish to purchase that. We also have, still available, this Chanel scarf with jewels on it. So if you're a vintage Chanel collector, uh, especially when it comes to jewelry, this scarf is still available and it has all that iconic charms and jewels that we love. It has that wonderful Elizabeth Taylor CC earring that we love as well. And this, I believe, is £295, and it's just available there. Then moving on, not everything has to be designer. It could be vintage and we love it. It's this belt from the 1980s. This is £125, and you can wear it as a belt doubled up as a choker, loads and loads of really fun ways, or you can wear it just draped around your neck with a knot, like a lariat necklace as well. We have the Cabas tote, this is 695 pounds, a great um, carry-all bag, which has just there, with the leather bottom, and we have this totally bag as well, which is, uh, I believe, at £495 with two external pockets. Great as a work bag. And it's a good compact size. Uh, we have this beautiful Ripoir, highly collectible, um, inspired by Chanel's uh, Verdura uh, cuff, which is now £1,495. Includes its original box. And we have uh, this brooch, which is still available, and I forget the price, I think it's 495 it's just there. Yeah. And I can't believe no one's bought this book, has anyone bought this yet? I didn't get an all. Yeah, this, hopefully, is still available, this is an absolute steal, this is only £190, complete with box and cereal sticker and card, shows light wear. But what a credible price. Get a Chanel purse for less than £200. It's just available there. Uh, we also have uh, this uh, Givenchy earrings with the Cubochon style uh, lapis lazuli uh, stones. And this is £245. And that's from the 1980s. We also have a stylish agenda for £250, which is still available to purchase. And we have this super cute Sway camera bag, which is available at £1,200. And we have this incredible example of early Chanel serialised bag. This bag comes with its box, serial sticker and card. And this is £2,200 as well. And we also have this great little... Uh, Chanel, uh, not Chanel, Louis Vuitton uh, Lexington pouch. This is £250. And then coming up, this, has this sold? I'm not too sure. Surprise, it's still available. 
we have this lovely nylon Chanel uh, sport line tote bag, only 250, uh, 350 pounds, complete steel. Get a Chanel everyday bag for only 350 pounds. And that's available now. And then we have this gorgeous 1960s Fendi Lucite acrylic black bag which is available and this is 250 pounds. And we have the Chanel shoulder tote bag, which is available for 1,900 pounds. Includes a matching purse as well. Should be the matching purse. So, which is quite unusual uh, to have its complete set, the matching purse. And we have the medallion tote medallion coat which is available for £1,900 in caviar skin and this is in pristine um, condition. So everything's available remember there's a handbag icon if you want to shop away or you can recap later and you can watch on demand um, with this show. So thank you so much for joining us and uh, today what show was it we have today? Let me just quick we have uh, Unreal Steels and Dubai later on this afternoon and thank you very much for those who purchased and thank you Rachel for being my um, wing woman. <laughs> I'll take it. Thanks. All right.